Okay, here we are again. So I thought I'd give a little bit of an update on the uh, project of making the Hubble Space Telescope card model. This is insane. It's so in detailed. As we can see here. Anyway, so I've managed to make the, the uh, shroud for the main scope. This was very difficult, and I wanted to point out that these little rings, when you get to this point, um, don't always fit snugly inside here. They're actually a bit too big, so be aware of that. Um, a little bit of advice. I uh, went over this before. These are very important. These long, thin tweezers come in very handy when making the uh, OTA boxes. The OTA boxes are going to be going along here. When it comes to making the boxes, you want to score. And scoring involves basically pulling the blade towards you and very lightly following the dotted lines. So basically I try to do everything all at the same time. As you can see here. And one of the things you'll find if you're uh, scoring, you obviously don't want to go over the same skull mark if you forget which one you've done. So one of the tricks I use is just take your finger just drag it and you'll be able to feel the cut marks very easily. And when it comes to cutting, same idea, just basically always pull the blade towards you and cut all the, uh, put all the straight lines that are in the same direction at the same time instead of twisting around. And obviously always twist the paper so it's uh, really easier for you to be uh, cutting. Like so. You can get some uh, nice straight lines cutting like that. You don't have to use scissors. It's kind of like under the same principle as using a Japanese saw. You're always pulling the blade, so you're always keeping it uh, in tension, so it's always going to be nice and straight. When it comes to gluing these little guys, essentially, this is where the pliers come in very handy. Got a nice little bottle of glue here. So very, very little glue. Take your toothpick. Smooth it out. Get rid of that excess. Move that down. And this is where these pliers come in handy. Slip it in there. Line it up nicely. Give it a good squeeze for a few moments. A little tick off the excess. As I shake. I shake because I'm squeezing. Anyway, there you go. So that's a nice little handy bit of advice there when it comes to making these little boxes. So that's all for now. And there you have it. The OTA bays are in place. And the handrails and all that kind of stuff. Still not quite there. 